I the Invader. I'm, I'm pretty sure you brothers have seen the title. Now, Rian, what the fuck are you talking about this time? I honestly have no idea. So, I the Invader is an anime, and I just wanted to take this time, like, to just talk about this amazing anime that I've slept on, which my friend slapped my ass. So let's get down, let's break it down to why I think I invaded is fucking A and you should watch it. YouTube copyrights, just give me time to breathe for each one that comes after this video goes up. <laughs> so I invaded. What's it about, Rian? Also, it's an anime. To any of you new bros who actually don't watch anime, hey, I watch anime. This is anime. Check it out after this. If you like it, I'm gonna stop talking. So ID invaded. So we got our main protagonist, um, Nahira Isago. Nahira. <laughs> I can't wait to butcher that in the comment section. Kill me. Do kill me. Wait, why am I helping you guys? Let's just call him Sakato. Now, as he always says, he's a mete detective. I butcher that too. He's a brilliant detective. So we, the anime starts off with him just waking up and he's limbless. I'm not gonna spoil anything, don't worry, I'll try my best. He wakes up limbless and he's in this house with a girl he has no idea. Well, he doesn't know who she is, but he knows her name. And with that, he remembers who he is, which is the brilliant detective, aka the protagonist of our story. And he's, he... He's something, man. His like, if you bros watch the anime, watch the anime. You bros know what I'm talking about. But I'm not gonna give too much away. That's for you to find out after you watch 15 minutes of tasty Rion. Wait, what are we shooting now? That's the beginning segment of the anime, I believe. That's what happens in episode one. It's been a while. We're gonna be reacting to a particular scene in ID Invader, which I just cherish so dearly. And yeah, we're, we're gonna go into that. ID Invader. The basic structural concept behind ID Invader is that basically that. We have a bunch of people, uh, we call serial serial killers, that jump into the subconscious mind of a killer uh, through... <laughs> like when I'm hearing myself, I'm like, what the fuck have I been watching? So they jump into the subconscious mind. I know, I know, it's kind of it's kind of confusing, but trust me, a moron like me sat through 13 episodes, you'll be a... Okay. So they jump into the subconscious mind of the criminal who they're trying to interrogate or trying to find out, like in episode 1. Well, I think that it started out with some guy drilling holes in it. It's, it's not the cheap. That happened. So basically how they jump into the subconscious mind of people is through a machine called the Mizuhane, I believe. And they have uh, a device that helps to capture what I think the anime calls cognition particles uh, through a waka boosh. I'm gonna butcher all of this. Comment session, go easy on me, please. Okay. <laughs> So they find it with the little device and they take that particle, they put it in the machine and then uh, a serial killer, people, yeah, I, there's just no way to explain it properly, basically that's what happens. They got a lot of participants for this to do and they are actually serial killers, one being our main protagonist, Nahre Sago. So that's the basic concept behind ID Invaded and what I feel like what makes ID Invaded, so hopefully you has got the gist of everything. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah, I, I got one of you bros telling me that I should really script stuff like this after finishing this, editing this. I'll, I'll see. I see why. Alright, so what I really like about ID Invader and what I just find so phenomenal is that basically, like, honestly, the first time when my friend told me about, you know, to watch this, I was really hesitant because honestly, stuff beyond IQ3 is just beyond me because I'm IQ. One. So I was really hesitant, like, I'm not just understand stuff, but the concept is just basically easy, you know? And then you capture him, see? Pain. Yeah, so let's talk about the characters. So we got Naruto Saga, which I don't, again, these might be minor spoilers, but hey, it's something that just gets in the anime, so it's just, it's just level with me, okay, Chief? Naruto Saga. So basically, what happened to him is that he's that police detective. He was on the he was on the force, and one day when he was actually on the force, his whole family got massacred by a guy called the Challenger. Then he just goes up to his house and straight up shoots him down. And then he's marked as a serial killer, and then he. 
Yeah, then he starts with this bullshit. This episode right here is that where he's basically just talking to a person who just committed a crime just like him. I think it was somewhere like episode 4 or something. Again, these are minor stuff. You'll cherish the experience, trust me. With this video, if you never check the anime out, it'll give you that little edge to not jump off a cliff, but jump into this. It's just so cool how it just flows. Like, you don't feel like you're watching 13 episodes. You like, you watch episode 1 and then you're like, wait, is it over? What the f- There are those rumors that, you know, ID Invaded is- uh, uh, season 2 might be coming out this time next year. There's rumors, not sure, but it would, it would, I wouldn't be surprised, but I would be surprised considering I don't want to talk. Okay, you know what? Spoil it. I'll shut up. Okay, okay. It's just. <laughs> yeah, with the success that I invaded already brought, I mean, brought, you know, I guess to the industry, the studio. I don't know the studio behind ID Invader, give me a second. Yeah, the studio behind ID Invader is NAS to NAZ. Like, the only thing they've actually made is porn. Yeah, so it's pretty insane that I actually got something like that. Okay, there's also a lot of other stuff, but the only thing that caught my eyes is porn. Okay, okay. Yeah, so with the success that ID Invader brought, I wouldn't be surprised if that's in season 2, but that's not what he did. The show ain't done, Chief, so now, in case you bros are still not sold that you should watch I Invaded, I'm gonna show you my, I guess, my favorite clip of I Invaded all the time that just made me feel things, Chief. Here we go. Okay, so this scene is basically, so this is another case, I think this happens in... I think episode 4, but I don't know at this point, too. So in this episode, what happens is basically the case where, like, a lot of people are getting, you know, dig buried alive, and Sakairo is jumping into the subconscious mind, subconscious mind of the killer, and now he's trying to save a kid, but do know this is in the subconscious mind, so this doesn't really affect reality, which is kind of bittersweet, but hey, that's just life. Also, another thing I gotta mention before we watch this is that all the cases are presented with this girl called Kyro, which honestly to me is just a meme at this point. So he solves the cases by figuring out what happened to Kyro chan. When he figures out what happened to Kyro chan, that's when the task force figures out the whole, the case as a whole. All right, we, we got that, let's go. So this is the kid he's trying to save, right? So, and he's been dying constantly like left and right. Can we get that gun? Thank you. All right, now he's gonna die. Oh yeah, Kyro, yeah, we talked about this. Yeah, this thing was alive. So he's gonna a lot of... <laughs> Really? True that. So that they support each other like I said last time, you know. I don't wanna keep repeating the same thing I said. That's for me, it's gonna be a pain that's for you too. Alright, so Grey Digger, that's the name of the criminal who's been well burying people alive, yeah. Yeah, he's been dying a lot of times too. So like, again, when he keeps dying, it takes a toll on him, so yeah. Third back drop dead. More than six hours, right? He's been going through a lot of shit. Let's go. Let's leave it to that. Yeah, I hope you bros are following along, please. I hope. Nope. And then he dies again. Oh, okay. Alright. This has got a long way to go, yeah. He's got- he's trying to save the kid like I told, yeah. And this is just basically the mind of the criminal, which he ended through the Mitsuhane machine. The well, which they call it, yeah. Sound like it. Stupid! Yeah, no. <laughs> Boot him! Now he's just tired because he keep- he kept- he's on, kept on dying. He's a bathroom a long time ago. Died too. It's this guy, dude! It's He's great. So now he's back again, trying to save him. So this is a, actually, I should yeah, explain yeah, this. So she, in real time, she's actually buried alive in this episode. So they're trying to save her before she actually dies. Or you just have to say that you're fine. Same spot. So he's died, I think, four or five times now. At this point, it's just funny. Yeah, he's been there for seven hours, Chief. Cockpit, that's uh, the, the thing they use to go into the mind of the criminal, yeah. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. She's buried alive, and for her, for you know the task force, all these guys to find this, um, this girl, Sakairo has to do his job as a brilliant detective. So we're gonna scan the bodies. The great thing is, right and kill should be clear at the point of kidnapping. Yeah, someone who buried six people alive had a trivial drive to kill. Okay, so the guy is sad, it's clearly. Yeah. 
Hold on, so these are all the victims of the grave digger who's been buried alive. And the, the guy's been live streaming that death. Yeah, welcome to the game. To keep the casting the killer will clear that up. Oh, yeah, why did we find cognition bodies? So basically, what they're trying to say is you need to have a killer instinct to find these particles and lets us enter. Uh, yeah, let Sakairo enter, well, the mind of the killer. So this time they got it. In spite of all the other times they tried it. I forgot, Chief. Now you're trying to save her, let's go! Oh. Okay. Alright. Welcome to my favorite scene. In this whole anime. That's not my task. My task is to be the main protagonist. How was Kyle rendered? A burned corpse in a place of no five. I did, yeah. That's smile, man. That's when you know. Shit's about to begin. Oh, man, shut up. I didn't ask Santa Claus to come here. There's certain things which tired brains get. Shut up, old man. No one likes you. Keiko Kuchi has a little time yet. So, this is the name of the girl who's being buried alive, who's getting live streamed around the world. It's pretty fun. That's how the police officer would be. Uh, how are these days we have Akita Narasaka? <laughs> Your time is cold, this is long past. Shut up, old man. I still live. This is that say people may no longer motivate him. You have no idea, old man. You see those eyes? They don't lie. Oh, the music! Oh! Yeah! Let's run! Let's do the show and scream it! That always helps. Bro, this scene just lights me up. Now it's on a dab. You were saying about the cheering, Chief? Let's go! Let's go! Oh wait, can you, 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 you can go, please, please, thank you. What was I saying? You wanna run? We can go, we can go. I'm getting copyrighted. We can go, we can go. I'm getting copyrighted. Jump. Thank you, platformer. What? Do I have my controller for this? Please, please, I press A. A, B, A. B. What the fuck? It's on you, the guy. Let's go. Did he make it? Uh, you wanna jump? Mm, ah, he's dead. Voodoo. Nope, not today. He's a police officer, alright? <sighs> and that's all I got time to share with you. Okay, you know what? I'll let this play. That's it for me now, Chief. Now, if that didn't sold you, you'll just have to find out for yourself if it's worth selling. Yeah, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Goodbye.